we are still in Oregon and what's great about this trip is we made a plan to make no plans so we were gonna stay as long as we wanted to stay in one place and we were gonna move on and we decided to stay another week here in Oregon for a few reasons a we're having a great time you'll see more of that great time in the upcoming video with Gail's crazy Oregon friends oh my gosh I am meeting the best people and having the greatest times but we've also been working on this darn RV you know we left right away without getting everything fixed I had told you we had a couple electrical problems it seems like we're getting one thing fixed at a time and uh, we're just weeding stuff out but we're also really enjoying seeing Gail's parents we've got the greatest uh, parking spot right here next to their house we are looking forward to moving on so of those of you who are like come on let's go see some other states it's gonna happen we may go longer than three months now I don't know we may find every place we stay three weeks in we don't have a plan but we have found some good places that we want to go from talking to people in Oregon and so we're making a route and I'm gonna share with that share that with you soon stay tuned for this episode it's gonna be a lot of fun meet new friends again and go jet skiing um, play lawn games we just just had a great time go to see Todd's shop you'll meet Todd in this video and uh, I will catch you at the end we've been staying here at Gail's mom and dad's house and we are busting down it's after work on Friday and we are going to Shelly Ann and Todd's house uh, another set of friends from Gail uh, in her high school years and uh, I'll pick it up from there Okay, Star, what did we do today? We left Grandma's house in Terrebonne. We came into Redmond to do some errands and did some dry cleaning, some provisioning, some propane, some gas, some grocery shopping. We're trying to get over to Todd and Chilean's for dinner, and uh, we're a little bit behind, but we're almost there. So, woo -woo -woo. Right, we just arrived at Todd and Shelly Ann's house, and we parked in their driveway here. And we're going to be taking these jet skis out tomorrow. But let's say hi to everybody. Shelly Ann, say hi. hi. And this is Donna. Hello. We just hi. met Donna. And this is Todd, Whoa. the owner of the house. And this is Tim. Hey. Hey. All right. So much more to come. Here. Look, there's a deer right in the neighborhood, in the yard of where we are. So, this is where we are, and there's a deer. Pretty. All right, we're playing bocce ball. Oh, good shot, Gail. So, it is dinner time crock pot, meat, and potatoes, Shelly Ann. Say, hi, woo woo. All right, guys, dinner served. Look at this view. This is where we're going to eat dinner. Hey. That is beautiful. Hey, tell us, Tim, how'd you make that? That's for dessert. More so. What is it called exactly? It's like a turtle something. It is. And you know what's in it? What's in it? Kalua. Kalua. <laughs> well, no, tell me all the ingredients. How'd you make it? Chocolate cake, Cool Whip, chocolate pudding with Kahlua, oh and Heath Bars. Man. And Heath Bars. Yeah. Oh, that's for dessert. It's time to dig into dessert. Oh, my word. <laughs> good friends, good food, great dessert. Saturday morning, after a fun night last night, and meeting great friends, great food, bocce ball. We are headed to the reservoir to go ride jet skis. We're all packed up. I think I'm gonna bring a new camera that's waterproof and try it out today. We're at Primeville Reservoir. Gonna go jet skiing. There's Gail out on the raft. With Shelly Ann. Oh, and look at that. I think we got star out there. Yep, I see some star ears there floating around. Talk about 
about Todd working his ass off for his girls today to get all of our toys in the water. And get the skis lumped. Go Shelly Ann and Gail. There the girls go. Having fun on the jet skis. Jeez. You go, girl. Better catch up, Dale. There she goes. No messing around with Gail. Okay, we just got off the lake. We're at Club Pioneer in Primeville. Shelly Ann and Keith Keith's ready to go. Woo, woo, woo. Star is ready. She had a good day. The day at the river, what happens? We got one asleep. Two asleep. Thank goodness Todd and Shelly are driving us home after a great dinner. So it's Sunday morning. We're at Todd and Shelly McCary's house. And it's more like a national park. I told them when I wake up, every window has trees and grass. It's so pretty. They've done a beautiful job. We played bocce ball the other night in their yard. We went jet skiing yesterday. We're just kind of relaxing today. And we're going to have dinner tonight and spend some more time with my girl. It's been way too long. We've gotten always short visits, but it's nice to be spending some actual quality time with this special lady. So this is what happens when someone installs your hitch too low for the trailer. Um, it's hitting instead of the skid plates and that shouldn't be the case. So they should know what they're doing, but apparently not. So we're going to have that lifted as well when we take the RV in on Tuesday. But just took out a little bit of asphalt out of my parents' driveway. Actually, hopefully more on the road than their driveway. Feel bad about that, but yeah, that's a problem. And we didn't have the trailer. We weren't even telling the trailer. It's Sunday, and Keith and I are hanging out at Shelly Ann and Todd's house, and we're finally getting relaxing. Spend some time on the deck, and we're getting some of our toys going finally. We have um, the two cameras that go on our helmet cams, and um, a drone. A drone. A drone. That we and need then, some uh, SIM cards. We ordered them, they'll get here. We also have little cameras that go on our helmet. Um, yeah, so finally we're going to get some more things to take some pictures of. Some toys. <laughs> okay, we are going to have dinner at Shelly Ann and Todd's house. And I am coming up after taking a shower to see what's going on. Say hi, Shelly Ann. He didn't create it, but he tooled it. Is that correct, Todd? Tooled it? I machined that Machined out. it. And the important thing is... Aesthetically, they have to be pleasing, but functionally, they can't have any sharp edges because if it cut the fishing line... Oh, sure. Big fish, fish and then it's gone. With a sharp edge or so we have a fun, um, what do you call it, field trip tomorrow. We're going to go to Todd's shop, and we're going to see how he makes these things. Here's some baby deer. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. So they're gonna walk away. The mama and the baby fawn are out here. They're so cute. So let me get close to them or not. Then there's mama. Feeding their little babies in there somewhere. I don't want to spook them, but look at this beautiful house up on the rim. Hi, guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Where's your baby? Okay, Keith, what'd you think about the deer? Oh, that was so cool. They're still right there, pan over there. I'll zoom, I'll zoom on them. They're hiding their baby right now, but she's a little fawn with spots. She comes through the yard last night and today. Go so back to the barbecue. There's so, the house for the night. Yep, they have a beautiful home, and it's like a national park around here. Look at this. Grasslands everywhere. Weekend warrior, like I said. Got two big beds back here. Big bed up there. Yeah, those uh, those beds will raise up and you can pull your vehicle. Uh, all the chairs will move out of the way. So you, can... you pull your car in. Yeah. Oh, it's a toy hauler. Yeah, but it's a nice bedroom. Oh, huge bedroom up here, Gail. Yeah. 
And then there's the, there's a full bathroom. See, when you have something that tows it, there's so much more room in the front. Very nice, Todd. Thanks for no slides or anything. That's the dark. Okay, we're playing cornhole after dinner. Oh, that's a point. Okay, Shelly Ann, what time is it? It is about 5.25. And we're all off work, yahoo! Star, you didn't work very hard today, and neither did your damn dad. How many naps did he take? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to Todd's shop right now, Shelly Ann's husband, and see his Talents. Okay, we're at Todd and Shelly Ann's shop called Central Oregon Precision, and we're gonna go in and see how he makes this stuff. Hey, Todd, how are you? Wow, now that's some equipment, huh? Well, let's see what he's making around here. Okay, so Todd, introduce yourself and tell us about this. Hey, I'm Todd McGarry here at Central Oregon Precision in Redmond, Oregon. Uh, we're a drop shop high-speed CNC machine shop and I've uh, been here 16 years. So we make all kinds of uh, components that would uh, might end up on a production line. Uh, so how does it start, Todd? We would buy uh, raw material and sawn to size. Like that right there? What, what kind of material is that? That's uh, one inch aluminum 6061 plate. Wow. So you know once you make this first part that you just put in there, that it's going to go in this machine and it's going to do another step. Yep, and then we'll repeat pretty closely, but we'll inspect the parts as they go through. Wow. This machine moves pretty fast. Look at that thing. Oh my word. That is impressive. And all these different bits do different cuts, all the lubrication, again, about a million buttons to get to know here. All the different cutting machines, all the bits. Let's see if we can see it through here. Oh yeah. This is interesting to me. I was talking to Todd last night and I was telling him that I went and I emptied the head of the motorhome, which we're gonna do when we leave. So this will make sense to you because he said, oh, I manufacture those for the guy who invented them. And I said, the reason it came up is I said, this was one of the coolest machines I ever used it was just so perfect and so easy to use. He goes, oh yeah, we, we perfected that over the time. So tell me, Todd. And this is just a bench model prototype that we have. Now they're in the field, but basically it's an interlock cap. Interlock cap. There's the sewer dump there and this covers it. And it's a locking mechanism that goes up to a pay station. You pay your money, it accepts it. And then there's an interlock pin and a locking mechanism. An interlock pin here that locks into like a door lock and that would lock the mechanism closed. You pay your money, the solenoid pin retracts like a door lock and then you can open and utilize the, the system. So let me recap this. I paid five dollars and usually it's a messy old place but it was real clean, it worked perfectly and I realized I put my credit card in and for five dollars it is unlocked and it was just like a Cadillac way of using a disposal system for sewer waste. So we're at the dump station, and I don't know if you remember, but a few uh, clips ago I was showing you Todd's shop, and this is what he makes. So he makes this part for these stations. There's thousands of them, and I thought when I used it, you put your credit card in there, that has a magnetic lock. It was pretty slick. Come to find out, Todd's shop makes it. So that's all there is to it. You just hook it up, and that opens up. Now let me give you an update. So let's start with the bedroom. So we actually have lights. Check this out. Look at this. You hit the switch and the lights go on. Ta-da! So for those of you that were worried about us using lanterns, Gil is getting some laundry done. There's a lot of good things of hanging out. We've got a great view. I'll take you outside and I'll show you what else we fixed. So you may recall in an episode ago, Gail was showing you 
that we kept dragging our hitch. And so, voila, we have a new hitch. And it's higher, and it shouldn't drag anymore. Those should be our uh, guards that drag um, before the hitch does. Up here is still our ongoing problem, my end, never ending nemesis. I have a guy scheduled to come out on Wednesday. He's charging me a fortune, so guess what? I am gonna try to get it done before he gets here. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna drill a hole through that thing, and I am gonna find electricity, and I'm gonna make that camera work.